Welcome to the first issue of the relaunched Stacker News. I took a little bit of a break from Stacker News because it wasn't getting that many views and it was taking up a lot of my time, but there have been so many of you asking me to keep doing it. So what did I do? What every engineer does, I automated it. As I come across videos, articles, events, or tech news that I think are interesting, I bookmark them. And then at the end of the week, I run a script that pulls all of the information and assets that I need, like video thumbnails, descriptions, and so on. So now I can put this video together very quickly every week. But as most engineers do, I over-engineered it. I'm going to cover the highlights in these videos, but there's going to be even more information in the new Stacker News newsletter. Click the link in the description below to sign up. It's completely free and you'll get a new newsletter each week with all of the top developer news for that week. To help me keep this going, I debated on whether to charge a small fee for the newsletter, but ultimately I decided that I'll include sponsored posts instead. So if you have a product, course, or content that you'd like to have included in the video and or newsletter, there's a request form in the description below as well. Now enough with the explanation, what did you miss last week in web dev? Well, we learned about AI copilots, how to generate dinosaurs, and 50 plus AWS services that we've all been confused about. In this video, I'll highlight my favorite videos from last week to help you decide which to watch, and maybe you'll discover some new videos and channels that you didn't know about. I'll also highlight some articles, podcasts, events, and social posts to keep you informed. If this video helps you out, help me out by liking and subscribing. Links to everything mentioned will be in the description below. This is Stacker News. First up in top news, GitHub Copilot is in technical preview, TypeScript 4.4 Beta 1 is out, and Windows 11 was announced. On to the videos, these are in no particular order. In this video, Jessica at Coder Coder builds a dinosaur generator with Node.js using Express. And she uses some external APIs with the power of JavaScript and brings dinosaurs back to life. In this video, Philip Lackner shows you how to make the profile page of Instagram in Jetpack Compose. Next up, Tiff and Tech goes over the different career paths that you can take within software development or software engineering. If you've been confused about which path to take, be sure to check out this video. GitHub recently announced GitHub Copilot, an AI pair programmer. There's been a lot of buzz about this on social media, and in this video, I'll explain exactly what it is and how it can help you write code faster. Next up, Anna McDougall shows us how to build a community using Twitter. Twitter is a great place to network and even find jobs, so be sure to check out this video to find out how to get started. Programming with Mosh has so many great courses. In this tutorial, you'll learn Django for a career in backend development. This Django tutorial teaches you everything you need to know to get started. Having a tech mentor is extremely beneficial. In this video, Vicky May talks about the steps that you need to take and the places that you can look to find tech mentors. Are Amazon Web Services as confusing to you as they are to me? If so, watch this video from Fireship. AWS has over 200 unique services. In this video, Jeff goes over the top 50 cloud products in just 10 minutes. Did you know that program with Eric is on vacation? While Eric is out, Colby Fayak teaches us how to get started with headless WordPress to create a Next.js application using WP GraphQL and Apollo Client. Be sure to check out this video and Colby's channel for more great content. Next up, Brad Traversy shows us how to create a static blog using Next.js and Markdown. This is a great project to get you started with Next.js. And if you want to learn about Adobe XD and UI design, check out this video from DevEd. In this video, he'll show you how to create a dashboard UI design in Adobe XD. He goes over all of the basic tools and functionality in Adobe XD and uses them to put together a beautiful website store dashboard. Now on to articles, podcasts, and socials. A great article that I came across on Dev2 was seven GitHub project essentials for every JavaScript developer. For podcasts, Scott and Wes talk about the Elements tab in DevTools on the Syntax podcast. And then Scott and Wes are on Shop Talk Show as well, talking about various development tools, SvelteKit, and much more. Did you know that Instagram has a great coding community? Here's a highlight from last week. In this one from The Web Developer, you'll learn how to create an RGBA generator using JavaScript. Did you also know that Tech Talk is a thing? Developers and programmers on TikTok. I guess I need to up my game. 
Go check out Danny Thompson and Cody Engel over there for some great info and some laughs. On to the upcoming events. A quick disclaimer here, I am a developer advocate for MongoDB. July 13th and 14th is MongoDB.live. It's a completely free virtual developer conference where you'll learn all about some new, really cool features coming to MongoDB. Now I can't talk about them now, but there's some really cool things that we're working on. Again, that's July 13th and 14th. Register now and add it to your calendar. The link is in the description below. Again, there's more info in the newsletter. It's completely free to sign up. I hope this was helpful. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.